The 49ers wanted to move back to accumulate as many picks as possible. This is a move that was worth 400 points on the draft chart. The Bears come up to number two. The player they've been eyeing all along has been Solomon Thomas from Stanford. San Francisco gets a third overall pick, a third and a fourth, and a 2018 third round pick. So they pick up quite a few. Meanwhile, the pick is in. Let's go to Commissioner Goodell. With the second pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Mitchell Trubisky, quarterback, North Carolina. Things just got interesting. Mitchell Trubisky, hometown mentor Ohio, 30 miles outside of Cleveland, was a Mr. Football there, went to North Carolina, sat behind Marquise Williams for a few years, got one year starting, 13 starts, 8 and 5 in those 13 starts. The Chicago Bears, who in the offseason paid big money to Mike Glennon, to go there and be the quarterback. It's a three-year deal, but really a one-year and we'll see deal for Mike Glennon at $14 million. And it may be, we may not see, now that they have picked Mitchell Trubisky, Mel, a shocker, not defense, a quarterback. Well, you talk, talk, about, a, you talk about a quarterback, right? He only started 13 games in his career. I thought he needed to go back for another season. What does that quarterback need? He needs time. With Mike Lennon there as the starting quarterback coming from Tampa Bay, a lot of people like coming into that program thinking he could be an effective starting quarterback. Now Mitchell Trubisky is afforded the opportunity to learn, watch Lennon, not be forced to be the guy because then he might have been a bust and it would have been probably overwhelming for Trubisky to be forced to compete for the starting job. Now I wouldn't say just redshirt, but certainly learn. And you look at the skill set of Mitch Trubisky, he has an necessary arm strength, very underrated mobility and he was in the majority of the games this year very accurate not only in the short intermediate areas but down the field the struggles against Stanford was alarming in that Sun Bowl it was the last time we saw him in pads but Stanford physically dominated Solomon Thomas had the great game that was the one game that they put a kind of red flag along that name and said boy he needs another year with the Bears are counting on remember they made this move Cleveland did not make that move the Bears did Cleveland sitting there now still thinking about who's my quarterback gonna be with the 45th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Adam Shaheen, tight end, Ashland. All right, so it's DJ's guy. I feel like a proud father right now, uh, watching Adam Shaheen come off the board. My comparison for him, I'm going old school Eric Green with the Pittsburgh Steelers because you're talking about someone that's almost 280 pounds that is athletic enough to run like this. You see Adam Shaheen taking off down the sideline right now. It looks like he's playing with middle school people. I promise you those are, those are college age players he's going up against. Back old school Eric Green was actually played with my brother in college at Liberty. So I got a chance to watch him when I was younger and I remember thinking how massive he was and how athletic he was. Pretty special talent. And you can look at Shaheen's background like most tight ends. They oh. can hoop. And this kid can hoop, Mike. What a baseline maneuver played. out of three. That's high school stuff. He played Division II college basketball before transferring over to Ashland to yeah, play well, football. He's at Pitt Johnstown, right, before he made that move? Yeah, I, I think the football coaches and some of the basketball coaches said you're a pretty good player, but uh, your future's not in this sport, son. <laughs> so the Bears traded up from 117 to 112. They've been moving all over the board. With the 112th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Eddie Jackson, defensive back, Alabama. Congratulations. Go Bears. Now, almost everything DJ just said about Tedrick Thompson, <laughs> you can say about Eddie Jackson. Six feet, 201. Really a free safety. Great range in ball skills. Inconsistent tackler like Tedrick Thompson and has medical like Tedrick Thompson. Not a coincidence that they're stacked together at the top of the fourth round. I think some added value for this kid, Eddie Jackson, is he's a really good pump returner. So you're getting a little more value in addition to being a really outstanding center fielder. 
with the 119th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Tariq Cohen, running back, North Carolina A&T. The human joystick. Yeah. Cohen is, uh, I think he's Darren Sproles all over again. Not can we get some highlights thing. in here? Yeah, we're, I, I hope <laughs> we get some, some because we're, we're, if we have some B-roll on him, you're going to be excited about this. Yeah. Just about every touch is a highlight reel play. The stop-start stuff is just ridiculous. He does things that are very difficult to do. But let me tell you why he's going to be a potentially special player on the next level. Cohen has the ability, and you can see why he's the joystick with some of this, but he's unguardable out of the backfield. His option routes... Uh, People just couldn't stay with him. I had heard speculation that they really liked Christian McCaffrey, and they were willing to consider Christian McCaffrey at number, three. at number three. They wanted someone on offense that could be a dynamic playmaker out of the backfield that could create mismatches in space. Tariq Cohen, as Lance alluded to, has the ability in space with those option routes and angle routes and things of the backfield. He is going to be a headache. You talk about Darren Sproles and the success that Darren Sproles has had. Tariq Cohen certainly can be that kind of impact player in Chicago. Kutztown's Jordan Morgan only played half a season of high school football and got on his school's radar because they were recruiting his teammates. Morgan entered college as a 235-pound preferred walk-on. He leaves as a 309-pound force.